Hey, I'm Rob Hitzig, and I'm here to talk to you about my evolution as an artist. And basically what has happened is I was living in Washington, D.C. In 1997, I joined a woodworking club and started learning how to make furniture. And this is one of my first pieces. But what happened was I became obsessed with the natural beauty of the wood, and long story short, I quit my job in 2004, moved to Vermont, and set up a studio to start making wood sculptures. Uh, this is a book match sculpture. I started making a bunch of these where I polish the wood with shellac to get the most beauty out of the wood. And then I quickly started making these book match, match sculptures with tinted shellac. So I literally paint the shellac on rather than, it's not a stain, the shellac is floating on top of the wood so I could work and rework and change the colors as I was going along. Um, this one was in 2007, I made this one. But um, I became more interested in the painterly aspect of the shellac. And I, in 2008, I saw an exhibit uh, retrospective of Sean Scully's, and I, I really loved the idea of starting to work with stripes. So I, I left the figurative sculptures behind and started working more geometric with stripes. And this one was from 2011, I think. Um, but just I, I started also loving the idea of uh, 3D sculptures, the paintings that you could walk around and they change as you, you move from one side of the sculpture to the other, or the painting. You, it's really a painting, but it's also a sculpture. Um, in 2008, I started a series of flags. And basically, the idea behind it is that they're, I'm trying to promote a non-dogmatic a non patriotism. And I have a whole series of these I want to show one day, but they're sort of stored away right now. Um, this one is from 2012. And it's the first time I started using acrylic paint in the piece. I used it to fill the, the ash piece in the middle, the grain, so there's some uh, acrylic paint. And this one is the second one where I started using acrylic paint too. And I started to leave some of the acrylic paint on the surface. So there's interaction of the tinted shellac as, as well as the acrylic paint and changing the colors. Uh, it's, it, and this is shellac, on, you know, it's, it's polished very cleanly. But I've also evolved beyond just working with shellac and the, the beauty of the wood and made some pieces that are, are purely uh, color and form. And this, this is a series of barn art. This, this is on view, you can see in Marshfield on Route 2. It's uh, on a barn out there if you're driving down Route 2. And this one is a, one of my for my public art series, and it's actually on view right now in front of Burlington Electric. I put it there for the art hop. Uh, it's, it's made to be interactive, so it's, I'm, I feel really happy when I see people climbing inside and looking out. It really makes the sculpture. And then I also have a series of bumper stickers, which I'm really proud of. Uh, the idea being that they're anti-bumper sticker bumper stickers. They don't talk at you. They don't tell you what to do, think, believe, anything. Um, I also make them available free to the public. Uh, well, the, the rule is all U.S. residents are entitled to one free bumper sticker as long as you promise to put it on your car. After that, all other bumper stickers are 10 bucks. Um, and, but as I've evolved, I've also been using more of the acrylic paint in my work and playing with abstract expressionism as well as geometric forms and while still, you know, trying to bring out the beauty in the wood. And that's that's the amazing thing about the shellac is you can really get this great texture while it also being flat. And I've really been interested in trying to make two-sided two pieces uh, because the, I've been told often that the, the back side of my work is often as beautiful as the front. So I've, this is one of my first two-sided sculpture paintings. Um, but uh, my, my bumper stickers evolved. I, after about 20 of them, I, I really wanted to um, bring it up to a larger scale. So I did make a, a billboard and install that in Queensbury, New York, back in uh, November. It was up for four weeks. Um, just a way to break up the monotony of advertisements. And uh, this is my dining room table. I decided, I was refinishing it last year and I decided to make it an art piece as well. And I started to paint these geometric shapes on top uh, and painting really quickly with different colors and getting these you know, unexpected mixes of the colors in the pieces. And I really loved it so much that I decided to work it into actual sculptures. And um, so this is a piece that I made that's multi-dimensional, multi-sided, but has all these multi-sided paintings that 
interact with each other as well. And, but this is also finished with shellac, so I flattened it. And the, so the paintings actually become almost like decals. And I wanted to remove the pedestals from my work because uh, the pedestals were interfering. So this, I came up with the idea of hanging a sculpture painting and making these, these long stripes because it, it's, the boards are so long, I wanted to have a, the colors wrap all the way around. So this is just two-sided, it hangs from the ceiling. And, um, and this is part of that same series. I made this one right after the other one. But this is flat on the wall. And uh, it, rubbing the, the painting with the shellac, it creates these really interesting effects of having the colors bleed out and having defined lines while also having sort of a soft color interacting. And it, it reflects my um, earlier work too with the shellac, I think. And this is another two-sided piece that I wanted that hangs, you know, short, the, the, the thin edge on the wall. And these colors, the, I, what I really like is that how they interact with each other so the stripes all add together. And um, this is the latest piece that I've, I've just finished. It's, um, it also hangs on the wall in the, 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 the narrow edge um, with the colors wrapping all the way around. And uh, anyway, there you go. That's my work. <laughs> Evolution. <laughs>